come to the right place. Hello everyone. So before we start actually talking about my theory, I want to talk about something. So, I'm going to be making some FNAF theories on my channel. Now, before you get mad, it's not going to be the only thing I post. I'm still doing other stuff like vlog videos and rarely gaming videos. Just want to get that out before I talk about why I'm all of a sudden doing FNAF theories. And that's because I want to make a FNAF timeline. But that is going to take a while. And I want to do is make little theories about what we're going to be talking about in the timeline. So when it does come out, you'll know what we're talking about. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the actual theory. Okay, so let's talk about Fred Bear's singing show and the Fall Fest. So what I know about Fred Bear's singing show is that Fred Bear's singing show is a traveling act with a bear. A live dancing bear, not animatronic, mind you. And I think that the singing show could possibly connect to the Fall Fest because the Fall Fest poster has a tent that resembles a circus tent. And as I was saying, it could be the Fred Bear singing show could be a traveling act or I was saying it could be circus too. And if it is a circus, on the poster, there is a tent that looks like a circus theme. And off topic, and in the ruin, uh, you see the costumes of Mimikyu's. They look kind of circus themed, if you ask me. And um, what I'm trying to say is that they could be connected to Fall Fest and could have been used during Fall Fest because of the tent. And what I think is that the Fall Fest could be held by the owners of Fred Bear Singing Show every fall slash Halloween. But when it's not that time, it's just Fred Bear Singing Show. And the first annual Fall Fest started in. 1970 or earlier in the years i don't know and i think that the carnival game in help wanted to is a game at the fall fester booth because in the first dlc for help wanted curse of dreadbear you're playing at the fall fest and i feel like in the hay maze you are definitely at the fall fest also on the topic of fred bear singing show being related to fall fest it would make sense at least in my mind that they are related. The only thing about that is I think that the carnival game with Carney and Help Wanted 2 has an animatronic, and Fred Bear's singing show was an actual bear, so I don't know how that would work, but it could because Fred Bear's singing show was in a thing, was in a thing way before animatronics were on the table. Also, would make sense because of, again, the Fall Fest poster. The tent is like a circus tent. Now, I am kind of confident in this theory. It could possibly, well, it probably is a stretch, um, yeah, and about the animatronic bear thing, the only thing that would make sense is that the Fall Fest is one of the first places to use animatronics, and it happens after they stop using an actual bear. Or the Fall Fest could just not be related to Fred Bear's singing show at all, and it's just something to do, just not related at all. And maybe the reason the Fall Fest burned down is because the animatronics were still a work in progress, and maybe they could have done something wrong, and like the wires broke, I don't really know. And for anyone who has no clue what I'm talking about, at the end of the Carney game in Help Wanted 2, the place is set on fire. And so does the car carousel game, and it gets on fire too. Which makes me think the carousel could also be um, a ride slash booth, maybe, I don't know, at the Fall Fest. And I know that the Fall Fest goes on for a long time because in the hub for Curse of Dreadbear DLC it says Fall Fest 83. And I think that Carney from Help Wanted 2 is a thing during Fall Fest 83. Because in 1983, animatronics are already a thing people are doing, especially Fred Bear's Family Diner. Okay, also, real quick, I would like to say something. Fall Fest was first introduced in Curse of Dreadbear, not Help Wanted 2. Now, also, Fred Bear's singing show and the Fall Fest are probably not Fazbear property. Because it would be weird for the Fall Fest to start nine years before Fred Bear's Family Diner to open if it's owned by the same company. Now that we got all that covered, I would want to talk about the suits in Ruin and the speculation about a circus. First of all, let's talk about the poster for Fall Fest 1907 and the Ruin suits. First of all, the poster it definitely has a circus tent. Just look at the red and white stripes. Also, the way the tent just looks, it just looks like one. Okay, now let's talk about the suits that the Mimic uses. That's how I think they're related to circus. So look at the suit design. Oh, okay. First of all, uh, I know you guys are probably saying, what about the crow looking thing and the lion type thing? They don't look circus at all. Yeah, I know. I'm not talking about them. I'm mostly talking about the elephant. First of all, it has like a circus suit, like the different, like white and green. And elephants are used a lot in circuses. 
So what I think that they used the mascot suits during the Fall Fest in the tent as a little circus act. That's why they look so old and torn up because they were used during the Fall Fest in 1970 through 1983. Those are at least the latest dates I have for the festival. Okay, I know that was a lot and yeah, that is a theory I had on a Fred Bear singing show and the Fall Fest are related. Uh, and as I said, I am pretty confident. I think the proof is there. Just, you know, it's also a stretch too, because we don't know that much about Fall Fest or anything. But I do think it's definitely going to be important. And, um, yeah, that's mostly it. I'm going to put theories out like this, just talking about little things that, you know, will be a part of the timeline. But, yeah, and that's all. I'll see everyone later. I really hope you enjoyed this. And I'll, yeah, see y'all later. Bye.